Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's topic is on circular motion and motion in, motion in a circle. So, circular motion is the motion of an object along a circular path. Think of, um, you can think of a, a cord and a stone tied at the end of the cord and it is being whirled. That's an example of a circular motion. Circular motion basically has three traits. One is, it has constant speed. For an object to be in circular motion, it must have constant speed. Secondly, it has a varying velocity. The reason why it can have a constant speed and a varying velocity is because it is constantly changing direction. And the third trait of an object in circular motion is, it must have something called a centripetal acceleration. These are the three traits of an object in a circular motion. Centripetal acceleration is given as V square over R. And since this is the formula for centripetal acceleration, and we, we can recall from Newton's second law that F is equal to MA, we can substitute this equation into the second equation giving us F is equal to M V square over R, and we have M V square over R. Now, this force in particular is called the centripetal force. Let me write this here so it can be clearer. This force is called the centripetal force. Now, the centripetal force is simply a force that keeps an object along a circular path. That force is called the centripetal force. And the, I, if you can recall from Newton's third law of motion, I said earlier that to every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. If there is a centripetal force keeping an object along a central or along a circular path, there also, there also has to be an opposing force that would maintain the object to be on that same circular path. Now, that opposing force is called centrifugal force. Because I said, or Newton said, to every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. So the action of the centripetal force is opposed by another force called the centrifugal force. Now, I'm going to give you an example of how we can solve So, I have a question here on circular motion. It says an object of weight 150 Newton moves along a circular path with speed 4.5 meter per second and radius 3 meter. Calculate the centripetal acceleration and force, given that the acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second squared. Now, a question like this. All the vital parameters are, has already been provided. So, you write out your equation, F M V square over R. What we are looking for is the centripetal force and the centripetal acceleration. But if you can remember, W is also a force. W stands for weight. Weight is a force, and we know that W or F is equal to MA. So instead of writing MA, we write MG because we're not just talking about any acceleration here. It's a special type of acceleration known as the acceleration due to gravity given here. So W is equal to mg. So the weight of the object is 150 Newton. The mass is m. Acceleration due to gravity is given as 10. So the mass of the object would therefore be 150 divided by 10 which gives us 15 kilogram. So we just found the mass. We can directly find the acceleration and the force from there. So F is equal to M. No need to write that. Let me just substitute the values in. 15. The velocity is 4.5 squared. And the radius, where is the radius? The radius is given as three. Three meter. 
punching that into our calculator, we would have 15 multiplied by 4.5 squared by 3. The force is this. Now, to calculate the acceleration, recall that F is equal to MA. We can make A the subject of formula. So F over M, which is 101.25 over the mass 15. That gives us 6.75 meter per second squared. So these are our answers. Thank you. Let's tackle a question on circular motion. So a stone of mass 500 kilogram tied to a rope 50 centimeter long is whirled at an angular velocity of 12 radian per second. Calculate the centripetal force. I hope you can see the equations I have listed out. Those are some vital equations in centripetal motion and simple harmonic motion as well. So do well to memorize them. Looking at the problem, we are given the velocity as 12 radian per second. We are also given the mass as 500 kilogram, and we want to calculate for the centripetal force. So the force is given as mv squared over r. But this velocity is not the velocity you are familiar with, because the unit of the normal velocity is meter per second. The velocity here is the angular velocity, not the linear velocity. So it is written as omega, not v. So omega is known as the angular velocity, whereas v is known as the linear velocity. Omega is given as 2 pi f. But what connects omega, which is the angular velocity, and the linear velocity is the equation 1, which says v is equal to omega r. Now we can get v, because we already know what r is. R is 50 centimeter. Converting centimeter to meter, that's dividing it by 100. We have 0 0.5 meter. Substituting that into our equation, the linear velocity becomes 12 multiplied by 0 0.5. Punching that into our calculator. We have six meter per second. Six meter per second. So we can now punch that into or substitute that into the final formula, which gives our mass is 500. Our final or our linear velocity rather is six squared divided by the radius or the length of the rope which is 0 0.5 and that gives 0.5 So this is the centripetal force that keeps the object along the circular path. Thank you.